sausage, egg, and cheese burritos. But first, coffee. Hi friends. And welcome if you are new. This is Carrie's Culinary Crafts where we talk all things food. And today I'm gonna finish up um, some I'm gonna finish up a project that I started yesterday. I had a big food prep day where I cooked up some meat and stuff and I cooked up um, 48 eggs, four pounds of sausage, and I have some um, Hungarian hot peppers in here, some mushrooms, onions, garlic, um, and we are going to make up some sausage egg burrito, some breakfast burritos. I like to do these every once in a while and make a whole bunch of them and then stick them in my freezer and then like take out one bag at a time so then my family has a quick grab and go breakfast um, that, you know, my son can take it to the bus stop. Um, and also because pretty soon we're gonna be coming up on summer. So during the summertime, my son is here all the time. So I, I will need to start worrying about breakfasts and lunch and stuff like that uh, because he is involved in a lot of activities. So he eats quite a bit in the summertime. So today I figured I would go ahead and start stocking up on breakfast burritos. So if you wanna make some breakfast burritos, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and let's make some breakfast burritos together. Okay, so I like to use gloves because I use my hands. I always say the best tools in the kitchen are your hands. After that, then it's your chef's knife, but hands definitely first. Okay, and I have these uh, deli papers here, which is what I like to use to um, roll the breakfast burritos up with before I stick them in a bag and freeze them. So I'm just going to pull out a bunch to start with. Now I should get about 48 burritos. That is usually what I did. However, I am using bigger tortillas. I usually buy the soft taco size for this. So they are like a little bit smaller. Like I think these are, these are eight ounce or I mean eight eight inch burritos and I usually buy the seven inch which are the soft taco size uh, not like the walking tacos which are smaller than that but um, so these might fit more than just one egg in it so I might not quite get 48 but I still should get quite a bit okay we'll start with that And I have several different kinds of wraps here. These are my favorite wraps um, that we get. And there's three flavors. There's like just a regular flavor. And then there's a spinach and herb flavor. And there is um, a tomato basil flavor. Uh, they are all really, really good. And I'll save these bags because I will you put them in these bags before they go into the freezer. Okay. Let me see. I'll be able to see this very well. I'm going to sit down. I like sit down projects. Okay. So in here I have American cheese, like deli American cheese. I love using American cheese for 
um, for this purpose, these breakfast burritos, because the, it melts really, really wonderful. Now these breakfast burritos, um, the back stock will be kept in the freezer, but then I will like pull out one bag at a time and a bag usually holds a week's worth of burritos. So I'll leave them in the fridge. So if you just take one out and stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds, it heats everything beautifully and then melts the cheese. And American cheese melts really, really well. It makes it really, really creamy. But you can use whatever kind of cheese you want. Um, this is just the cheese that I prefer. And really this is, maybe once in a while we'll have it on um, sandwiches or, or something like that if we have sandwiches. But uh, the major thing that I use American cheese for is for this purpose. Breakfast burritos are definitely a, a favorite in our household. Okay, and whoops, forgot first. I'll like rip one it. I'll rip. Let me see, so you can see this. I'll just rip a piece of cheese in half so it fits the whole tortilla, like this, because every bite you want to have something in it. You don't want a bite just has tortilla in it. That's kind of boring. And like I said, these burritos have. Um, egg, sausage, mushrooms, onions, garlic, and there are Hungarian hot peppers from our garden. That's the last, I used the last of them from last year's garden. So it was a good timing. We made the, froze the right amount to last us to the next year. Okay, and these you don't, this one I did stuff a little too full. And you want to watch that. You don't want to stuff them too full because then they can break on you. And then I just roll it up nice and tight in here. And then when you pull this out, the reason I use this deli paper, whenever you pull it out of the bag, you can just stick it straight into the microwave with this on it. I see a lot of people do foil, but you would have to take that foil off before you can microwave it. By using this paper, you can go straight into the microwave. And I'll show you, I'll do like a couple more on regular speed so you can follow me along, but then for most of it, I will go ahead and speed it up for you guys so you don't have to sit here and watch me do, you know. 40 breakfast burritos. You want to fold the sides in and then the top over and then you want to roll tight. Is that two pieces? No, but it's a very thick piece, so that's going to be a yummy burrito. It's like a double thick piece of cheese.
and a piece of advice for you. If you are going to by chance make these and you're going to use the American cheese, make sure you get the deli pack slice that isn't individually wrapped because believe me, it really stinks having to sit here and unwrap a whole bunch of cheese slices in order to, uh, to do this. Been there, done that. Made that mistake one time. Well, it wasn't even a mistake. Just it happened to be all that they had. The one time at the store, they didn't have any um, of the big, like, I think, what is it, 144 slices or something that I get. It's in a, like a log like this. Um, but they didn't have any left. And the only ones that they had left was the individually wrapped singles. And it was horrible. Because that was a day that I was making, I was making double so I made, made about a hundred um, burritos and yeah, it, it was, it was not fun peeling that cheese.
Okay. All right, I have a little bit of eggs left here, which is fine. I mean, I could make some more um, burritos, but since I ran out of cheese, I do have other cheese like shredded cheddar cheese and mozzarella and stuff like that. Um, I could use that as well. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, stop here and I'm just going to leave this um, because this looks like two breakfast scrambles, like one for my son and one for my husband. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this into a um, storage container. And we'll get the rest of these wrapped up and we'll see how many we, we made. six huh I was right on okay so we have um, there's eight in each bag I have six bags so there's 48 49 50 51 so we have 51 burritos that is pretty awesome I was thinking we we're gonna have less but then now I remember that we added all that other stuff in there normally when I make um, sausage egg burritos. I usually just use sausage egg and cheese. I don't put the mushrooms and the pepper and the onions and the garlic and stuff in it. So that's why I act it actually bulked it up. So I actually made quite a bit more. So that's kind of exciting. Although I wonder, I might be able to get one more bag. Okay, no, we're going to stop at that because I want to leave. I want to leave that as a scramble. So, okay, there we go. I hope you enjoyed today's breakfast burritos. Uh, we made 51 burritos, which is very exciting. That'll lasts quite a bit and usually like what I'll do I'll put these three in the refrigerator um, but usually what I'll do is like every other week or so I will pull one of these out I don't pull them out so they're there for every day that way people don't get sick of them um, I like to do different things uh, you'll see some other stuff like I'll do some sandwiches um, some sausage egg muffins and some bagel sandwiches and stuff like that so i'll alternate them uh, so nobody gets tired of the same thing all the time so but that is it for today this is our breakfast burritos and i hope you enjoyed this and if you if you give this a try definitely let me know i hope you enjoy them and this is carrie's culinary crafts and i hope you enjoyed today's episode and i will see you next time Bye, friends.